Help me, Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Oh, y'all, Hurricane Milton. Y'all ready for this? Okay, Hurricane Milton is set to make landfall in Florida. And first of all, let me say this. To all my people in the Carolinas and certain parts of um, Georgia who, who all was devastated and hit by Helene. Now we have to uh, look at Milton because it's set to make l landfall in Florida as a Category 4 hurricane on Wednesday morning. It's expected to be even worse than Helene. Six million residents are under hurricane watch warnings and many have been ordered to evacuate as life-threatening nine-foot high storm surges and winds of up to 150 miles an hour barrel in. Starting spaghetti models to show hurricanes deadly path covering vast swamps of Florida. Mm. Please leave Florida. Congressman oh, issues warning to Gulf residents, get the heck out. Um, Florida Representative um, Anna Paulina Luna has warned residents to comply with the evacuation orders as officials expect flooding to be up to nine feet in certain areas, including Tampa Bay and the Barrier Islands. This is coming directly at us right now, she said in a, a video message to the residents. We have super saturated ground because of the previous flooding. Uh, this is going to be worse. And then a lot of these people are not with us now, unfortunately are not with us because they chose to stay. Please do not take this for granted. Please leave, please leave. Take this storm very serious, said uh, Ron DeSantis, Florida governor, made a statement after declaring a state of emergency across much of Florida. Tropical storm Milton expected to make a landfall on the west coast of Florida. Current estimates are Wednesday at about five, but there is still a lot of uncertainty on that, DeSantis said, speaking at the Emergency Operations Center. I'd urge all Floridians, um, let me repeat, I'm urging all Floridians to take this storm very seriously. Do not get wedded to the cone. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. How many y'all taking out with this one? This is insane. Disaster relief FEMA hits back at slow response to accusations. The U.S. government's disaster relief agency, FEMA, said it has been the target of false claims and conspiracy theories about its response to Hurricane Helene. FEMA faced intense criticism for allegedly being slow to act as some residents even claim that they were left to fend for themselves after minor obstacles like a road close sign prompted officials to abandon all efforts in the town. It's frankly ridiculous, and it's just plain false. This kind of rhetoric is not helpful to people, said FEMA boss Deanne Criswell. It's really a shame that we're putting politics ahead of helping people. And that's what we're here to do. We have had the complete support of the state, she added, referring to North Carolina. Republicans, including Donald Trump, have accused FEMA of intentionally withholding aid to people in red voting states. Now, what do y'all think about that? Do y'all believe that? Do you believe it? So you got golf residents prepared for... Uh, uh, they prepare for this deluge with sandbags. That's what they usually do. Residents have been preparing for the upcoming deluge um, with 
meteorologists have warned could bring up to 15 inches of rain by flood and proofing by proofing their houses. Sandbags can be seen lining up many properties in Sarasota, while the debris from Hurricane Helene, which ravaged the area two weeks ago, is still visible on the same streets. Mm, 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 mm. Boy, I'm praying for y'all. My heart goes out to you. I hope that y'all evacuate. I hope that, you know, just, you know, this is sad. Disney's Orlando Park remains open despite Hurricane Milton's warning. Tampa Bay residents warned they have less than 24 hours to get out, get out on the plane. Milton expected to strike many of the communities still reeling from Helene. So, you people, Walmart shelves are left empty in stockpiling frenzy. So, you know, this, the, the store shelves are pretty much cleared out in um, Florida, most of the cities in Florida. Um, and, yeah, they're about to get hit again. I would like to know what y'all think. Um... I had to disguise my last video just to talk about uh, Helene, and I had to do it in a way that I just said Hurricane Helene, but I had to drop some jewels in there, and, you, you know, I didn't want YouTube to censor me. So go back and look at that video if you haven't already, and, um, you know, leave your comments below. Leave your comments on this one as well. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.